this is a collection of the parts that you'll need to build uh, the birdhouse uh, and also some of the tools that you'll need as well. You'll get a full list of the sizes of the pieces of wood that you'll need uh, in the description below. Uh, but the sizes don't have to be exact. You could make it up depending on the size of pieces of wood that you have. This is what you'll need uh, for the bottom of the box if you want to uh, mount it on a post in the garden. Uh, the dimensions are 75mm by 75mm but depending on what size of post you've got that you want to mount it on uh, you can adjust it to the correct size. Most of the, the joints that I'll be doing uh, we'll be using glue uh, and screws and I've got the benefit of having a uh, an air compressed uh, nail gun so I've used that throughout the process uh, and screws but just be mindful that when uh, putting screws and nails that they don't come out through the inside uh, so that the birds get caught uh, it's important that you pay attention to that this piece is for the back door so you're able to uh, clean out the birdhouse uh, when it's not being used uh, ready for the next again season again you can make this any size you like uh, and you could add things to it such as a handle uh, we lock whatever you like to do uh, the round discs that you see on the front piece which is there and the side piece to the left these are for putting the the holes in that the birds will be going in and out uh, one is for the the top half and the other is for the bottom half of the bird house so there'll be uh, two separate birdhouses. Again, you'll see here I'm using a, a nail gun uh, with glue in all the joints, and it's uh, a wood glue, but it's waterproof. And make sure your birdhouse is square. Keep it right from the start, and it'll be great. Here this is just two scrap pieces of wood that I'm using to uh, attach the main body of the birdhouse to the, the base. And any type of wood will do for this. This is really a long weekend project, uh, depending on how far you want to go with it and how far you want to decorate it. Uh, and it also depends on the tools you've got available and the workspace. This is the holes drilled approximately 30mm uh, in size. You don't want them too big or you'll end up with big birds in your birdhouse and I prefer to try and attract uh, the smaller birds. And again, make sure you smooth off anything that the birds will be traveling through or in. So the holes have to be nice and smooth. You don't want them catching on bits of wood that are sticking out. So 
So this is in inside floor level, and you, that separates the uh, top from the bottom. So you can have two sets of birds in your birdhouse at any one time. And this is just really to set the, the level to keep it uh, the same, it's not sloping or whatever from one side to the other. Now you want to be given uh, a good few coats of stain to protect the wood and that's both inside and outside. Uh, you can never give too many coats. If, if you want to protect the wood and have your bird box last a good length of time, a good few seasons, then the more you work you do at this stage, uh, the longer it will last. Later in the video I'll be painting some of the outside and I'll give it a few coats of paint as well uh, so that helps protect it and you need to be sure that you're using uh, outside or exterior uh, stains and paints. And that pretty much gives you uh, the outline of a birdhouse. Uh, what you do from here on in, you can do many different things. It's up to yourself how you want to decorate it. Uh, I choose to put doors and windows and flowers and stuff like that. And you'll see at the end uh, how I've finished it off. But And it doesn't have to be too exact either. Uh, you can be quite outrageous in what you want to do uh, oversized handles oversized doors uh, small windows it's really up to yourself how you want to proceed uh, but just to give you a few ideas you'll see what I've been doing and feel free to copy me it's up to yourself And be a little adventurous with the materials that you've got to hand. I mean, I'm just using bits and pieces that I've got lying about uh, my workshop.
And this is just some offcuts of roofing felt that I had left that I'm just using to protect uh, the inside. Uh, I'm attaching uh, some pine here that I've scored with a saw to make it look like uh, roof tiles. How you cover the roof is entirely up to you. Uh, and I like to put everything together using glue, nails. Once that glue sets, it's really difficult to come apart. And be very careful where you're putting any nails or screws in your roof pieces. You don't want them piercing through the inside, again just to protect the birds that are inside that are nesting. And just some roof edging here and an apex for the top uh, would be ideal. Again, treat all the ends of uh, any timbers that you've been cutting uh, with stain uh, just to preserve it. And again, put two or three coats, especially on the bare ends. I think all in all, over the whole of the outside, I've put uh, a total of maybe three coats at least and treated the ends uh, with maybe another couple of coats. Again, this is just some uh, odd end pieces that I had lying about the workshop just to tidy things off and finish it a bit more. Uh, whatever you've got to hand is, is actually fine. Now this is kind of where the fun begins for me uh, and use your imagination uh, depending on what coloured paints you've got uh, just ensure that they're for exterior use on wood and you can have some fun uh, really stretch your imagination should you, <laughs> you wish uh, you'll see here the wee window uh, I'll show you in a, another video uh, how to do the windows And I think the painting can actually take longer than the building of the, the birdhouse, to be fair. This is some uh, imitation uh, brick that I've sliced up. Uh, even a bit of harling on there as well. Uh, just to give it a different look altogether. And it just totally changes the whole look of the, the birdhouse. Some little extras, you'll see the, the hanging basket. I just made that from some string and a conical shaped uh, piece of wood. You can see that in another video. Uh, 
along with the, the wee pot of flowers that I made. Uh, and you'll see the green on the bottom. Uh, it's got that kind of grass look. Uh, I can show you how to do that as well rather than leaving it smooth. So hope you enjoyed the video and happy building should you choose to copy it feel free. Thanks for watching.